talk storage real quick. You know, there's many ways to store soft plastics. As simple as just the cargo netting in the side of my Kingfisher boat. But when it comes to soft plastics, sometimes we're always looking for other ways to store them to keep them neat and organized for quick and being efficient. We have easy systems for jigs and frogs and crankbaits and hooks and sinkers and all the terminal tackle and lures. But when it comes to soft plastics, there's not always an easy way to store them and keep them neat. For me, I stop at Target, Walmart, you name it, and I grab those larger storage Ziploc bags. I'm not talking the gallon bags, sandwich bags, none of that stuff. I'm talking the bigger storage bags. You can get five of these for or 15 of these for five dollars. They're really inexpensive. Now I can see what's in the bag. I can store jig worms. This happens to be buzz bugs for Mr. Twister. Here's my craw baits. Here's my jig worms. And so on and so on. Now I can see in there and pick what I need. I'm not jumbling around trying to find where it is. It also keeps things neat and fresh. The rain's not going to penetrate these as much. Now you don't want to throw this bag in the water and submerge it. But if it does rain and it happens to get a little messy, you're not going to damage your plastics and get water-soaked plastics like we've all seen. I'm going to better throw these back in there nice and neat. I can see what's going on. If I'm going to go fishing with a buddy, I can quickly grab, okay, it's a jig worm type of day. I'm going to grab my jig worms and I'm going to run. A very, very easy and efficient way and cost-effective way to store your plastics and keep them nice and neat in the boat. So give that a shot if you haven't already and keep organized on the water.